Hey guys, how's it going? Golden State Cars here, and today I'm going to be reviewing my Canon 80D, which I got last week. If you're watching this video, then I first opened the box like a week to a week and a half ago, and you're watching this video late because I'm setting a time frame for all my uploads. And so today's video, I'm going to be talking about the specs of my 80D. I'm also going to be reviewing it and how it's treated me throughout the week so far. I've had it, and if you can hear my dog in the background, I do apologize. He's sitting on a chair which he shouldn't be, so let me just get him off the couch real quick. Okay, so what is the Canon 80D? The Canon 80D is a brand new camera, I think from 2016. It is the same body style as the 70D, except the 80D has way more upgrades than the 70D. The 80D comes with a 45 autofocusing points, which is phenomenal. The autofocusing on the camera is definitely a thumbs up, and the image quality as well as the video quality is just spot on. I've had no problems whatsoever yet, and I am in love with the 80D. The mic that I'm using is the mic that I was using on my dad's Panasonic camera, which is a Rode Video Micro microphone with the Dead Cats skin fur kind of material. I don't know how the mic is treating this camera, but if you guys can't get the best audio from this microphone, then I may consider upgrading to a $100 mic or maybe even a $200 mic. Taking pictures with this camera is amazing. I love how this camera is a big step from my previous camera, which is also my dad's. It is a Rebel T1i, which only had like 15.1 megapixels. And now this camera has 24.4 or 25.5 megapixels. A big jump from the T1i. I am also using my 18 to 135 lens from my T1i on this camera because I felt like if I had a lens from a camera that will fit in the 80D, then I don't need to buy a separate lens. The 80D shoots at 1080p, 30, and then 60 frames per second. I'm shooting in 30 frames per second, full HD right now. And I believe it has some slow motion options, which I have to figure it out because I'm still getting used to how this camera works and everything. Two of my favorite things about this camera are the touch screen and the flip screen. I can see my face on the side of the camera, which is amazing. And I can also use the touch screen and focus on different parts of the camera or different parts of the background, wherever I wanna focus it on. The reason why I got this camera was I really needed an upgrade from a T1i. The T1i is getting a little outdated on me. It's a fossil now and I needed a better camera that would last me a lot longer than the T1i. It's good to invest money in yourself to buying new cameras, new lenses, and new equipment to better yourself in whatever field you're working in. Say for example photography, I invested my money into the ADD to, to enhance my skills in taking pictures. And another reason why I bought the ADD is because I needed a camera where I can have one thing and have the other all in one. One. Going from a Rebel T1i and a Panasonic camcorder vlogging camera to a Canon 80D is like best of both worlds. I can vlog and take pictures at the same time. The specs on this camera are really, really great. Um, I can't name all of them at the top of my head, but like I think you can get up to 16,000 ISO with a shutter speed of like 10,000 or 12,000. This camera is decent with low lighting, but I know my friends have told me that the best cameras with best low lighting shots are the Sony A7000 or the Sony A6000 or A5600 or something. Basically, Sony is leading the camera market with like best image quality, full frame sensors, and low light shots. And so far, this camera has treated me really, really well. I love it. I actually am obsessed with it and I love it too much. It's godly, it's amazing. I spent hard earned money on this camera and and one day I hope to invest more money into camera equipment like better lenses, better microphones, better tripods, etc. to help up my photography game. Okay, so about the mic, if you guys have a hard time hearing like my voice directly. It's not picking up like 80% of my voice and it's 50-50 like picks up 50% of my voice and 50% of the background noise Then I do apologize if that's the case comment below because I need your feedback That way I can see if I can get a better microphone for the camera and for the vlogs to help get better quality sound Thanks for watching today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something from it and if this video was helpful at all in helping to choose the right vlogging camera, the right photography camera, please give it a thumbs up. And 
and also please subscribe to my channel if you are new because I have some quality content coming. Mostly cars, but like I will daily vlog too whenever I'm on vacation. And if you didn't like this video, please comment below on what I should improve so that I can improve the videos for you guys. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace out and stay golden. Thank you.